Andrew Johnston. Nicole Watson. Nicholas Caravan. Evan Quantas. Elizabeth Lyle. Lynn Telder. Zoe Waterston. Welcome. My name is Carolyn Spence, and I am the principal of the Sunshine Coast Alternative School, Spider Distributed Learning, and our continuing education programs. It is my pleasure to be here to celebrate with all of you the accomplishments of all that are represented here. I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Squamish Nation, and how blessed we are to live, work, play, on the and celebrate on the unceded territories of the Seashot Nation. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My ancestral name is Kwayame. Here from the Sisha people, welcome you to our Sisha Suya, our Sisha Nation territory. Here to welcome you, congratulating our grads of 2020, thanking our dear fellow co workers here, our language and cultural team, and our, our EA of the Sisha district. Here to share our Seashot welcome song with you. And again, I congratulate you all on your success in your graduation. We would like to share, to welcome you, to begin with our Seashot welcome song.
Councillor Corey August here to share a message on behalf of Council. Council would like to congratulate all graduates of 2020 from Mommy Mon, from Kinnick from Chat Leads, from colleges, from universities, wherever you're graduating, we are proud of you. The Tsishach Nation is proud of you. So if you're graduating from grade 12, college, or university, Whatever road you choose, we hope it's a smooth road for you because life certainly has its ups and downs, but we hope there's more ups for you. We would also like to share with you that the Sisha Nation is here for you, that the Education Department is here for you, so please reach out to our Education Department if you're looking for answers or guidance. They are here to help you. So once again, congratulations to you all. We love you and have a good day. I'd now like to introduce Mrs. Pamela Ruth, our school board chair, to say a few words. I stand here at this podium on behalf of the School District 46 Sunshine Coast Board of Education to congratulate you on this amazing achievement. You have all worked so very hard to get to this point, only to find uncertainty in where you will go from here. I'm not going to sugarcoat what you're going to face going forward. These are unprecedented times. However, they are also ever-changing times. The beauty of the future is that it is always the unknown. No one has the privilege of seeing beyond what is today. Plans? If you had plans on going to university, but now everything is online, just remember three months ago, half the adult population didn't know what Zoom was. If we can figure it out, you can rock whatever technology has to throw at you. Planned on backpacking in Australia or taking a gap year travel to Europe? We already live in an amazing country that people from all over the world come to visit. Our beautiful province even more so. Explore your own backyard. Spend part of your grad money on helping your local economy get back on its feet. You will never, or you will forever be known as the COVID class of 2020. But I am a believer in a silver lining. You will be able to outstory our generation with our 13 TV channels and no PVR. And even our grant, your grandparents' generation with walking to school two miles uphill, both there and back. You are special. You will face the unknown head on and accept the challenges that come your way because that's who you are now. I would like to extend our thanks to your parents as well as to teachers and staff for helping keep your momentum going. I am sure it was not an easy feat keeping you on task regardless of the, ta regardless of the pandemic, but ultimately it was your doing, your perseverance that got you here and it is that spark that will get you through anything the future throws at you. You've got this. And remember, when the path looks difficult, look back at what you have already accomplished, what you have been through, and know that just like getting to where you are at this moment, you will never be truly alone. Chin chin sway, we are all in this together. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. And I'm very pleased to introduce Mr. Patrick Bocking, Superintendent of Schools for the Sunshine Coast School District. I am so pleased to be here with you to celebrate your graduation from high school. I'm also pleased to be able to talk to you a little bit about where you are because you are graduating from one of the best educational systems in the world. We know that British Columbia students consistently rank very highly on international tests of literacy and mathematics and science. So one of the things that you can take with you is an academic background that has prepared you for whatever you want to do in the future. I often wonder though, as important as that is in education, is to educate, if that's really the most important thing that you're getting out of your high school experience. When I visit your school, I see students and staff interacting with each other respectfully and joyfully. 
As a stranger, I may come into the school and students smile at me. They hold the door for me. They make me feel welcome. It's a special culture that you have in your school. It's a special environment that is going to set you up for success for the rest of your life. It's something special to set up a system and a culture of support. Wherever you go for the rest of your lives, you're going to be bringing that with you. We have challenges in our world. We have diversity. We have change. And we have opportunity. With your excellent education that you've developed with your teachers and with other staff, you're going to do wonderfully wherever you go. Some of you are going to begin in the work world. Some of you are going to be thinking a little bit more about exactly what it is you want to do. And some of you are going straight to college or university to further your education in different areas. Wherever you go, all of us at School District 46, all of your teachers and your principals, all staff are so proud of you. Congratulations on your graduation. I wish you all the best. I'd like to introduce the Mayor of Seashell to also bring greetings to our graduates, Darnelda Seegers. I am honored to bring greetings on behalf of the District of Seashell. To all the students graduating, because of the pandemic, your graduation doesn't look anything like what you expected it to. There has been and continues to be great uncertainty in the world. For each of you, today and every day on into the future, you have a choice. Each day you can choose to fight the uncertainty or you can embrace it and mold it to meet and support the direction you choose to move in. None of us were given a template at birth laying out our lives for us. We've all had to figure it out for ourselves. So consider there has always been uncertainty. By making it to this day, your day of graduation, you have shown that over the years, you have continually confronted and embraced the uncertainty. You have demonstrated the ability to focus, to move towards a goal of your own choosing. You've shown you're able to acknowledge and build on each step along the way while being flexible when confronted by challenges. These character traits will always be with you and have only been strengthened by the times we are living in. I know that you, the class of 2020, unleashed on the world, will demonstrate that you have the skills and ability to maneuver through, around, or over any obstacle you may encounter. I look forward to seeing the mark you make on the world for how you do that will be as unique as each of you are. I am honored to have been able to be here to share this special moment in time with you. To all of you, congratulations on your graduation. And our MLA, Nicholas Simons, can you come and bring greetings to our students? Thank you. Congratulations to everyone who's graduating the entire class of 2020. On behalf of the people of the province of British Columbia and the Premier and all the residents of the Sunshine Coast, this is an exciting day for you. Years of schooling have culminated in a wonderful opportunity to celebrate this significant milestone in your life. I'd like to acknowledge that I'm on the traditional territory of the Squamish people and I recognize that School District 46 spreads throughout the Coast Salish Territory to the Seashell people as well. And I like to respect the protocol and acknowledge the territory. You're graduating from one of the best school systems in all of North America. We have the best teachers. We have the best administrators. We have the best staff that British Columbians could possibly hope for. What you've learned since entering kindergarten is impossible to quantify, but you, what you've gained is evident. Friendships, maturity, knowledge, and an understanding of the world 
that I hope serves you well throughout your lifetime. Kindergarten was so long ago, it's possible that you've already had memories that have might have faded. You've had triumphs, likely you've had struggles, but along the way, you've had friends, teachers, coaches, and family to guide, push and pull, and laugh with you along the way. And this year's graduation is like no other. To you who have looked forward to doing what last year's class did or what an older sibling or friends or relatives might have done when they graduated, you might be disappointed. But we all know you'll find ways of marking this achievement in other ways. That you'll find time in, I hope, the not too distant future where you and your friends can get together for fun. You're graduating during a pandemic that has jostled our society's foundations. Sporting and artistic events have been canceled, schools have been emptied, businesses closed, gatherings have been prohibited, and people couldn't even approach each other. And stacked on top of this is a renewed worldwide demand for racial justice, for murdered and missing indigenous women and girls, for black people, for Asian people, and for brown people. One day, you'll look back when some of your memories of this time may have faded, or when distance may separate you from this beautiful Sunshine Coast. I hope that on that day, you feel an immense pride in knowing that when our world faced a threat, that you and your community came together as children, youth, adults, and seniors as one. And as British Columbians, we did what we had to do. Bonnie Henry has pointed out that this is going to be a unique graduating class. It's been over 100 years since we've had an event like this pandemic, she says. Few of us will ever know or experience graduating in circumstances such as this. So, in the words of our provincial health officer, be kind, be calm, and be safe. And from all of us, we hope you just do your best and congratulations. I'd like to now introduce SCAS teacher, Alisa Canali, to address the graduating class on behalf of the staff of SCAS and SPIDER. Good evening, grads, guests, and School District 46 staff. My name is Elisa Canelli, and I have had the honor of teaching in the Horizons program at the Sunshine Coast Alternative School for the past eight years. Grads, some of you I've known for a lot of years now, and some of you I don't know at all. But whether we're familiar with each other or not, there are some things I know about your journey that I guarantee we can all appreciate. We recognize that for all of you, getting to this point today to celebrate your high school graduation has been an enormous and challenging journey, full of ups and downs, emotional upheaval, academic struggles, and huge growth. As staff, we at the Alt School have been part of this journey with you. Sometimes we've watched from afar, hoping that you'll make the healthy choices we want for you. Sometimes we've butted right in and told you what we thought. We've nagged you, we've encouraged you, we may even have expressed our frustration with you from time to time. We've laughed with you, learned from you, and we hope maybe we've even taught you something along the way. We are so proud of you today. You did it. Now you'll move on with your lives, and hopefully you'll look back on your time with SCAS and be as proud of your accomplishments as we are of you. Hold your heads up high, because you deserve this. On behalf of the staff of the Sunshine Coast Alternative School and SPIDER program, we congratulate the grad class of 2020. Thank you. To our graduates, we are here to recognize some very amazing, pretty awesome young men and women who have had to work hard to achieve this milestone in their life. This group represents a good cross-section of our programs that the school has to offer, from our daytime alternative programs, our online distributed learning programs, as well as our adult continuing education programs. 
I think I speak for our staff when I say that we have thoroughly enjoyed getting to know and working with all of our students. You are all dynamic men and women and have a lot to offer to this world. All of you are very capable and wonder of wonderful things and we all look forward to hearing about all you accomplish. On behalf of the staff of the Sunshine Coast Alternative School, Spider Distributed Learning, as well as Continuing Education, I would like to wish you continued success in your future schooling, your work, in your family, in your community, and in all your future in general. Andrew Johnstone. Andrew plans on going into marine biology. His love of marine life started at a young age when his grandfather bought him his first aquarium at age three. He has extensive knowledge in this area from years of research and hobbies with aquariums. His work experience at Nicholas Sontag Marine Education Centre evolved his thirst for exploring further into this field. Andrew would like to thank all his teachers and other staff members that helped to motivate him to complete high school and to continue with his education, as well as his family that supported him along the way. Congratulations, Andrew. Nicole Watson. Firstly, Nicole would like to thank her family for supporting her through these long seven years of high school, for all their encouragement, help, and believing in her. She would also like to thank Michael, Kari, and Deirdre for pushing her and being her educational support system. A big thank you to all the other staff who have helped her along the way. Her most special and scary moment along the path to graduation was getting pregnant at 18 and bringing the, most, the two most beautiful girls into the world. Thank you to her two twin girls, Peyton and Jordan, for getting their mommy to where she is now and giving her the motivation she needed. Two years late is better than never. She is not sure what the future holds after this day, but she is so grateful for getting to where she is now and finally being a graduate in 2020. Congratulations, Nicole. <laughs> Nicholas Caravan. It is with great pride that we're here for the graduation of Nicholas Caravan. Nick would like to thank everyone from the SCAS program for their support and motivation over the years. The caring and genuine interest in his education from his principal, teachers and support staff was the difference that allowed him to thrive in the program and, because the, and become the man that he is today. He would also like to extend a very special thanks to Anne Allen, Kathy Gordon and Chef Barry for all their support and the opportunities presented in the Professional Cook One course. Nick plans on continuing his studies and eventually completing his Red Seal certification. Nick would also like to thank his dad, his grandparents, and the rest of his family, old and new, for, their, for all their help. Nick hopes to travel as soon as he can and work in some of the finest restaurants in the world. Nick, you are now prepared for the real world. It may not always be easy, but we know you will do great things. We only have one more piece of advice. Always wear sunscreen. Congratulations, Nick. Evan Qantas. Evan would like to thank all his friends, both in Surrey and here on the coast, for always having his back, regardless of the troubles he was going through. He would also like to thank his dad for making him more independent and helping to keep him accountable with his studies. His best memories are playing on the ultimate Frisbee teams in Surrey and in Seashelt, and thanks the coaches of both teams, Mr. Sawyer and Patel Chiang. They helped him to express himself and to learn ultimate. Evan says he struggled with a lot of adversity in high school and that it wasn't easy getting to where he is now. Evan can confidently say he has changed into a different person than he was before high school and would like to thank his teachers, both at Sullivan Heights and at the Alternative School. Evan's plans for the futures are uncertain, but he plans on getting a job and saving up money to go to university, where he'd like to take a game design and creative writing course. He likes writing music and expressing himself creatively. 
His advice for others in high school is no matter how tough it gets and no matter how much you feel like quitting, persevere throughout the difficulty. Once you get to the other side, it's worth all the effort you have put into them. Quoting Nietzsche, that which does not kills, kill us makes us stronger. Lastly, he wants to thank the Alternative School for letting him learn at his own pace, letting him take his time. Congratulations, Evan. <laughs> Elizabeth Lyle. Elizabeth would like to thank her family for supporting her. She is thankful for the opportunities the Sunshine Coast Alternative School has given her to learn at her own pace. She intends to pursue musical theatre in her post-secondary education. Congratulations, Elizabeth. <laughs> Zoe Waterston. During Zoe's path up to graduation, she has been able to meet many wonderful people who have consistently been supportive and inspiring throughout her time at SCAS. Some of the most influential being Colleen, Trish, Cheryl, and Rachel from the FLEX program, along with my principal, Carolyn Spence, and art teacher, Kevin McAvoy. Every teacher she has ha had the pleasure to spend time with during her time at SCAS was rewarding. But she states these particular people have been wonderful role models and that she would not be the young woman she is today without them. Some of her favorite memories of school life were the days they were able to just sit down with the entire class, including all the teachers, and have conversations about current events or other interesting topics outside of general studies. It was fascinating being able to hear so many different opinions. While she's still not completely decided on what she would like to do in the future, she would like to have a career either in the arts or in social work. Congratulations, Zoe. Lynn Telder. Lynn decided in 2016 that she would finish her secondary schooling after a number of years and a full-time career. She is now retired from that career and beginning a new chapter in her life in Armstrong, BC. She would like to thank her teacher and friend, Nancy Moot, her husband, and especially her mother for all the support she has received. Congratulations, Lynn. Peyton Brackett. Peyton attended both our Spider and Horizons programs where she showed herself to be a caring, bright, inquisitive student willing to help out and support some of the younger kids with her kindness. Each day she would show up with a smile and a delicious looking frothy drink, often with an extra one for a friend. Peyton plans to attend a nursing program and we wish her the very best in her future. Congratulations, Peyton. Rachel Rempel. It has been an honor to have Rachel Rempel in our Horizons program for the past two years, and Spider before that. Always a thoughtful student, Rachel's hard work and determination to do well will serve her throughout the rest of her life. Rachel's sense of humor often kept both the staff and students entertained with her stories of her dog, Winston. <laughs> Rachel states that she had an amazing time at Horizons and that she's never had teachers take into account her learning style like the staff did and she says thank you for everything. Rachel is looking forward to working with animals, perhaps a dog trainer or a veterinarian. Congratulations, Rachel. <laughs> Braden Nickerson. The SCAS team has had the delight of working alongside this young man for a number of years. He came to us, a gentle young soul, into our Endeavour programs. Braden participated in a few programs over the years. He diligently worked every day coming to school to complete his graduation requirements. His motivation, tenacity, stick-to-itness, and stellar attendance made him one of the hardest working grads at the Sunshine Coast Alternative School. It has been a pleasure knowing, knowing him, supporting him, and watching him grow. We are all sure that in Braden's future, 
Whatever he puts his mind to, he will accomplish and enjoy success. We will miss you. We wish you joy and wisdom in all your adventures ahead. Congratulations, Braden. Frances Halford. Frances started in Spider in grade 11 as she wanted to change. She needed more time to focus on her schoolwork and her hobbies. Through doing two years fully online, she was able to develop skills such as self-motivation and time management, which will be all the more important when she goes to university. She's not quite sure what she would like to do as a career. However, she hopes to study business in university after taking a gap year. In the future, whether it be through volunteering, donations, or her career, she hopes to make a difference by helping animals and people in need. Throughout her high school years, she has always had the support of her dad, her mom, and her grandma. She is thankful every day to have had an amazing, such an amazing support system, as she knows many don't. She would also like to thank her amazing teachers, Nick, Fiona, Tom, and Principal Carolyn. To have one-to-one -one help and such understanding teachers made the classes that she found hard much more bearable. To be graduating and ending her high school career this month is very surreal. She's always identified as, a, as being a student and as a teenager. So to this soon come to an end is strange. She hopes what these years have taught her will help her in her future career life and to become a better person. Congratulations, Francis. I'd now like to introduce the first of our grad speakers, graduate Andrew Johnson, to speak on behalf of the graduating class. Welcome, family, friends, faculty, students, and grads of 2020. I'd like to start by thanking the faculty at SCAS for their hard work and dedication to get us through these trying times and to provide a graduation that may not have happened otherwise. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I know for myself this year has been the most trying of times that has not only tested our patience, but the way we see ourselves for our futures. We, the class of 2020, have dreamed of this our whole life so far. And never did we ever imagine that this would be the type of world we're living in now, the new normal. With so much uncertainty about the future, it's hard to imagine where we will be in six months, let alone five years down the road. Without our family, friends, fellow classmates, and educators, this day and all days for the foreseeable future would not be possible. So let us hold our heads high with masks, gloves, and all, and take this giant leap into the unknown future of the world that it is today. Let us support one another, love one another, trust one another, and cherish the time we have together. We will get through this. Our futures are so uncertain, but we must move forward and chase our dreams. Congratulations, class of 2020. In the words of Dr. Seuss, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce the second of our grad speakers, graduate Lynn Telder, to also speak on behalf of our graduating class. Hello, my name is Lynn Telder. It has been an interesting journey for the past three years. I only completed grade 11 at Chattel Each Secondary 37 years ago to start working and begin my family. My mother mentioned a few times that it would have been nice if all her children had completed their grade 12. I was the only one of five siblings whom did not complete this and always felt that she was disappointed and I vowed to one day complete this task. I began this in 2016 with the expectation of completing it in one year, which proved to be more challenging than I anticipated, while still having a full-time career and a viable first aid business. Many times throughout the three years, I wanted to throw in the towel and came very close until a special friend, Nancy Moot, 
recently passed away and never made it long enough to see my accomplishment, strongly encouraging me to continue. So Nancy was not only my friend, but she also became my adult education teacher. And something that she, she said to me really resonates still today. You will never know if you are to succeed if you do not try. This became my mantra to complete my grade 12. I also completed another course and became a certified end of life care doula, as well as doing my grade 12 and always hearing Nancy's voice, try. I recently retired at the end of March. I moved to Armstrong during very difficult times and after 43 years on the coast, I was there to start a new chapter, feeling very proud of myself. I would like to thank Nancy for helping me stick to it. I'd also like to thank my husband for listening and helping me through the homework, which was very difficult. <laughs> Without those simple words from my mother, which I really thank, is those powerful words that she spoke to me years ago. If she had not said those, this day would not be possible for me. So for my mom, for you, mom, I did it. I finally did my grade 12. This proves to all of you that no matter how old you are, you can pursue any dream. If you want it bad enough, just try. Thank you. Again, on behalf of the staff of the Sunshine Coast Alternative School, Spider Distributed Learning, Continuing Education, the school district, as well as the community in general, we want you to know we are all so proud of you. It has been written that strength doesn't come from what you can do. It comes from overcoming the things you once thought you couldn't. You have all worked very hard to get to this point in your journey. You have shown clearly that you have the tools and skills to accomplish anything that you put your mind to. You're an exceptional group of young people, and we are so very happy to have been part of this bit of your walk and we look forward to hearing about all your accomplishments in the future. Please don't be strangers. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>